Hello, it's Anthony of Anthok Gaming. I've got a couple shots here to show the process of me setting up my racing wheel, the process for setting up my uh, hands-on throttle and stick, or HOTAS, is a little different. You can see the little uh, rectangle on my desk. That is a Velcro piece, and my mouse pad is covering up other Velcro pieces. That's where the HOTAS rests when I play uh, flight games. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is it's going to be a three-part episode or three-episode um, series where I'm making a stand for both my racing wheel and for my uh, my HOTAS. The issues that I have are, well, you can see here I'm currently setting up my wheel and it takes a little bit of time. It's not so bad. I can get it all done in about a minute and then I can take it all down in about a minute as well. So it's really convenient to be able to clamp it on there. However, I don't wanna to have to set it up each time. I don't wanna to have to worry about the tangled wires. I also don't want it in the way where that pedal is underneath my desk currently. If I had this completely removed from my desk area, it would probably take me about four minutes to set it all up. So my goal is to create a collapsible table that I can mount my wheel to and I can take the wheel off of and mount my HOTAS to. This way I can move my setup wherever I want because if I play wirelessly with the Quest, as long as I've got a USB cable to plug into my computer, I can put it over in a different area and use my index. I could use my Quest in my office area or I could even play on the flat screen TV that I have next to my gaming setup. So you can see here, I just finished setting up my wheel and I'm going to show you what it looks like completely. So here it is, set up. And like I mentioned, right next to my setup, I have a 40 inch 4K TV, I believe. So just in case I don't wanna play in VR or maybe my wife or someone else wants to try playing and they don't wanna put on a VR headset, I wanna be able to move this racing setup in front of that TV so they can play. Here's the process of me measuring out the dimensions and uh, just making sure that what I build is going to have enough room for the setup and it can be collapsible. So I'm taking some measurements here. First off, the height of the wheel. I lowered my chair down uh, because I want it to be a little lower than my current desk sits. I also measured the distance from the wheel to the uh, shifter, which could be a little closer. And then here I'm measuring the total distance from the pedals to underneath the wheel so I can have the proper distance there. I will probably make the whole setup a little larger just so I can move pedals back and forth and have a little leeway with how the setup feels. So here I am sitting just making sure it's how I want it and again measuring the total distance and the width of the pedals. So then with those measurements I've got all those uh, points that I need. I also measured my total office area in front of the TV here so I can make sure that the whole setup will fit in front of the TV with my chair backed up against my couch. Now it's time to design. You can see I actually didn't record this process but I made the folded up design where there are arms on the outside that will flip up and then the part that the wheel or the HOTAS sit on is inside and folded down. Now I'm going to go through the process of modeling this where it is up and it has more accurate dimensions. Uh, so I'm just going to stop talking here and kind of let this roll in case you're interested in watching the designing process. Uh, there's a little bit of trigonometry used here to make sure I could get the right um, height and distances on these horizontal or these uh, diagonal pieces. I wanted to use a 45 degree angle, but I don't think I'm going to be able to keep that 45 degree angle because the whole thing is going to be narrowed down just a little bit from this design. All right, I'll stop talking. You can enjoy the montage here of my sped up work designing this whole table mechanism.
And here at the end, I just threw in some measurements so I can see the measurements while I am building. I can know roughly what I need to do. There will be edits made while I'm building this, I'm sure, but this is the rough idea. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think the whole thing is a little long. I might be shortening it by about six inches, but uh, there it is. That's what the setup looks like. And in the next video, I'll be going over the building process, showing what I did to construct it, any issues that I run into, and then part three will be the actual setup and use once it is built. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check out part two.